Welcome back to my channel. Um, so as promised, um, I'm going to let you guys know how my HESI test went. Yes, I took my HESI test and probably, most likely, I'm just going to say my score in the title. So by the title, you probably already know what my score is. But um, yeah, I'll give you guys all the details of the HESI, how that went, the whole process and blah, blah, blah. So let's get into it okay guys so um as you guys know like two weeks ago i took the atits and so i originally my original plan was to take the hezi like probably two or three days after the teas but after looking at like the hezi and seeing that okay um the school that i'm applying to um they require like the sciences because for the T's, the school I was applying to, they only require like the math and the reading. So I wasn't too worried about the sciences, but either way, I still did high on the science. But this time it required like the biology section, the A&P section, um, and then vocab, grammar, um, reading and math. So I was like, OK, you know what? I'm not going to risk this. I'm just going to give myself two weeks um to study for the hezi so um yeah um i went on evolve el severe the website to register for the hezi i already had a account with them just because my school my lpn school used evolve a lot so like all of our textbooks were from evolve so i already had an account there so all i had to do was like click hezi and they're like okay um so i filled out the information for the school that i'm applying to if you guys don't know uh, I took the HESI for the accelerated BSN program that I'm applying to. So, um, and they required a minimum score of 80% overall, um, cum cumulative <laughs> score of 80%. So, um, yeah, I put in the school's information and then they're like, okay, time to register. So, um, and it took like a couple of days before they sent me the email that I could register. So, um, after that, uh, they said, okay. Um, it's a specific testing center. I think it's called Prometric or something like that. You have to test at that center. You can't use any other testing center. So at first I was like, oh, okay. Because for the T's, the testing center I used was like probably five minutes away from where I live. And there's like a whole bunch of testing centers around me. So I figured it'd be that. Guys, when I went and I put in my um, zip code, I saw Brooklyn, New York. I saw Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I saw... Um, Fairlawn, New Jersey, <laughs> and I'm like, wait, all these places are like hour 45, almost two hours. I'm like, yo, what? I'm so serious, guys. I was seriously considering not taking the HESI just because I'm like, wait, why am I driving so far for an entrance test? <laughs> like, I was really close, but I'm like, you know what? I already got this far um, with applying. I might as well. On top of that, $115 to take the test. I was like, ugh. Like, the tease was $90, and then this one, $115. I'm just like, just for an entrance test. I'm like, Lord, please, let me do well, because I'm spending all this money. But, um, yeah, so I ended up choosing the um, center in New Jersey, even though it was, like, an hour 45. Um, but I'm like, I don't feel like traveling out of state. I might as well pick the one that's in state. Because I'm not about to be up in Brooklyn, like, you know, driving all the way. On top of that, the weather was supposed to be bad for that weekend. So, um, and sorry for switching my hands a lot. My arms are burning. Like, <laughs> this is a new place. So if you guys are used to, like, my old videos, I usually would have my uh, camera on the windowsill. So, like, you know, have my free arms. Or, like, I'd be in my car and I'd place it on the steering wheel. So, but now I'm, I'm holding it. So my arms are burning. So sorry, guys. But, um... Yeah, so I registered, and I was like, okay, girl, time to get serious. Once again, Ruby with her procrastination. <laughs> Guys, I waited until the day before the HESI <laughs> to really start studying, and I was, like, panicking and freaking out, but one thing about me is I do well under pressure, like, because <laughs> the, the whole two weeks that I gave myself, I just couldn't study. I was just like, uh. Who has time to study? I'd rather go out. Or who has time to study? I'd rather watch a movie. Like, you know? So, um, <clears throat> I used um, the same book that I used to study for the ATITs. And I have it here so I can show you guys instead of, like, 
mention it all the time. This book right here. Has the A2 Secrets Study Guide and it's from Mometrics Test Preparation. They also have a HESI, um, I mean, they also have an ATI tease version. But um, if you guys watched my last vlog or two vlogs ago, I mentioned that like it's basically the same stuff and the HESI is usually known to be harder. So that's why I just bought the HESI um, study book instead. So I used this. Um, I went through, let me see if I can open it up for you guys. It has all the sections. This is a math section. It breaks down each and every section that's on the test what they most likely will um, test you on. It breaks down all the information. So for AMP, it broke down each of the systems and important things that they might ask you for the systems. And then at the end, they have a whole like HESI A2 study, I mean practice exam. And the, also the good thing on here is they tell you how many questions um, each section usually is in the HESI. So for like, um, I think biology, it said expect 25 questions, AMP expect 25. Um, the reading expect about 47 questions so it kind of calmed my nerves a little bit because I'm like oh, okay 25 questions that's not that bad um, the vocab they're like expect like 40 something questions I was like oh lord not again because <laughs> if you guys remember like in the um, tease the vocab and grammar part I was just like yo do I not know English like so the day before the HESI um, I just wanted to focus on areas that I didn't know and so instead of trying to cram the whole book because I hadn't been studying, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go through the practice um, test, see my score, see where my weak areas are, and then go based off of that. Because I don't want to spend like two hours studying the math section of the book if I already know math. Like, you know, that's a waste of time that I could be using to spend studying something else. So, um... I started with the math section on the practice test. I only got one question wrong. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm definitely passing the math. So I didn't study for the math at all. Um, next, I moved on to the biology section, which was really quick. And it was just a review because I took biology like back in college. But that was like, it was like my freshman and sophomore year. So like 2011, 2012. Um, so it was just like a quick refresher. Um, took that section, got a couple wrong, but then I read through like the the answers and why that was the correct answer. I'm like, okay, I feel better about that. Next, I move on to the reading, and the reading section. That's that's the annoying thing. It's just like I noticed in the T's, like the things that were confusing me was like the difference between the main idea and topic, and oh, what's the purpose of this um, of this excerpt. So that always got me confused. I'm like, is it to entertain? Is it to persuade? Because a lot of times the, the section, it looked like, okay, this seems like an entertaining piece. And they'd be like, oh, no, they're actually trying to inform you. And I'm like, what? Or it'd be like, oh, this is trying to, I'm like, oh, this sounds like a persuasion because this is someone's opinion. They'd be like, actually, they're trying to inform me. So I was a lot like, I was confused with that. So I just um, reread that reading section to kind of get some helpful hints on like how to determine um, what the purpose of a certain excerpt is. Hopefully I didn't confuse y'all by saying that. And then the vocab and grammar, I'm like, I'm not gonna study that just cause, you know, you either know it or you don't. Like, English, I've been speaking it my whole life. Apparently I didn't know that much for the ATITs, but like, you know, <laughs> like, what can you really do? So, um, the last section I ended up studying for was anatomy. And it was just like quick reviews. I took anatomy um, last summer. Yeah, it was last summer in spring. So it was still, a lot of the stuff was still fresh. So I didn't spend that much time. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm good. So um, <clears throat> the next morning, which was Saturday, um, my test was scheduled for 1 p.m. Um, the people at the testing center ended up calling me and they're like, oh, hey, you know, we have seats a bit available, so if you want, you could just come on in and take the exam early and leave. So I was like, oh, okay, that's good. Just because Saturday was super, super pouring. Um, like I said, the testing center was about two hours away, close to two hours, like an hour 45. Um, and with the rain and all that, plus I had to take a highway. I'm not big on driving on highways because I can't really see that well. So... I was just like, you know what, it's good before the rain gets really bad. Let me 
go there and take the test <laughs> and come back home. So um, I got there and um, it's kind of like similar to when I went to take the NCLEX. Um, no jewelry. Um, they're like scanning you, ask if you have anything in your shoes. You have to roll up your sleeves, all that stuff. You have to do, put all your stuff in the locker. So, um, yeah, and they were like, okay, so when you go into your little booth, all you have to do is sign in with your Evolve password. So it's similar to just logging into your Evolve account at home. Like, you just sign in with your password, and then it's like, boom, okay. So the thing about the HESI that's different from the ATITs, um, with the ATITs, they just like, okay, you're starting off with the reading section first, and then after you're done, okay, you're going to math um, next, and blah, blah, blah. With the, the HESI, you actually get to pick which one you want to start with. So I had six different sections, six or seven different sections for my HESI, um, and it's just like, you just click take exam, once that's done, click whatever else, what the next subject that you want, take exam. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me start off with the math section and get that out the way first. So I did the math section. Um, thing that was different. <laughs> so with the T's, um, everything was multiple choice. With the HESI, there's a lot more fill in the blanks. Um, there's still some multiple choice, but a lot of it is fill in the blanks. So you really have to know your stuff. <laughs> I was just like, Lord. Because <laughs> um, the thing that I didn't study, um, with, the he with the T's, sorry, they give you conversion. So they're like, okay, something, something, pints equals something, something, cups. Um, but the HESI, they don't do that. They expect you to know. So a lot of the questions that I know for sure I got wrong had to do with those conversions. Um, there was conversions with milliliters to liters. Those I know automatically because when I took college chemistry, they drained that in our head. So those were easy, but the ones that really got me were the like how many gallon, how many cups are in a gallon, how many ounces are in cups, how many cups are in a pint, and da 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 da. Like, and it would go on from there. So those are the ones that I kind of stumbled on. But um, I got it done probably like 30, 45 minutes. Um, I think it was about 47 questions in the math section I don't really remember but it was like 40 something it was a lot of math um, and they do give you like a little dry erase board to work on and you have to give it back you can't erase the stuff that you worked on they don't give you a eraser to wipe anything off so I guess they want to see if you're really the one that's doing it so yeah once I finished the math section my score for the math automatically came up so I got an 88 percent on the math, which to me, I'm like, okay, that's not bad. Out of 40 something, I probably got probably like four or five questions wrong. Um, and that's how I got, or probably like three or four questions wrong. And I got an 88 and I knew for a fact, like I said, those are the conversion ones with the cups and pints and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, got that out the way, next section. So the next section that I picked was the biology one. Just because I needed a break from actually thinking, I needed something that'd be like boom, boom, boom. So the biology section, was 30 questions um and really it wasn't that hard it was really really easy i got that done in like i would say seven to ten minutes i was just like click 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 it's really easy it's not as hard as i like imagined um there was questions on like punnett squares and like you know oh which one's dominant which one's recessive and um i think vaccines and immunity and all that stuff the book really helped, the study book really helped because I was just like boom, boom, boom. So with, um, I finished the biology section, I ended up getting, I think it was a 96, yeah, 96%, which is actually one question wrong. So out of the 30 questions, I only got one question wrong on the biology section. So I was like, okay, feeling myself. So I'm like, okay, good. Because um, meanwhile, while I was taking the, the exam, I'm like, okay. You need at least an 80 average. You need at least an 80 average. So I'm like, okay, so far I have an 88% and I have a 96%. So my average is still like in the 90s. That's good. So um, next I chose a and because I'm like, okay, since I did biology and biology was easy, let me move on to a and a and was a little bit more challenging. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, there was some like really specific things or like... Um, 
I remember there was a question about, okay, so-and-so is secreted in what hormone, in what, so-and-so hormone is secreted in where, or, um, yeah, there was a question on hormones, what else, um, the pressures of, like, which has lower pressure, which has higher pressure, veins, da-da-da-da. There was one where it was actually, you have to rearrange the order. <laughs> like, they got a little fancy. It was, was kind of like NCLEX style, like it reminded me of. So, with the, and I'll post my, my, my results, the paper, I actually have it on me. It's in my room, but I'll bring it. Um, yeah, so I ended up getting a 84% on the A&P section, which I was just like, ooh, okay. <laughs> Average went back down. We went from like a 96 in biology to 84 in A&P. But I'm like, you know what? Keep on moving. I'm still higher than that 80 average that they require. So I'm going to speed it up. Next, I did, um, I think I did vocabulary. Yeah, I did vocabulary. So that one, they just want to, basically they kind of test you on nursing terms or like, um, Basically, figuring out the meanings of words, they use really, really big words, and you kind of have to use context clues to figure out, like, based on this sentence, what do you think is the definition of this word? Or what do you think is a synonym or antonym? Or instead of using this word, um, what other word could you use? And they use, they give you the four options. So it was multiple choice, but it was just a lot of, like, you know, context clues. You just use a whole bunch of context clues. That's basically with the vocab. And some, like, you know, because I'm a nurse already, I already could figure it out. Like, oh, the doctor um, is going to give a, and then they say recommendation, prescription. Um, they use some other words, but it's obviously the doctor is going to give you prescription order. Yeah, so like things like that, they kind of test you in. So like I said, that section was pretty easy just because since I'm a nurse already, a lot of the stuff I already seen, I know, like, why would a doctor give you a recommendation? He's going to give you a prescription. Okay. So I think for the vocab, I got a 90-something. Um, I stopped keeping count, but it was like 90s. The only 80s that I got was the 88 in um, the math section and then the 84 in A&P. But everything else was like in the 90s, basically. So, um, yeah, the reading comprehension, like I said, was the excerpts. But it wasn't like how the study book was. It was more so like um, kind of figuring out like, okay, if the person is writing this article about this, what is a fact from the article? What is the person, what's the author's opinion? Blah, 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 stuff like that. And then the grammar, same as the ATITs, kind of figuring out like the sentences and like what makes, what makes sense, like she and I, she and me, me and her type of stuff like that. So, um, but I feel like the grammar section on the HESI was a lot easier than the grammar section in the T's. That was just like based on my opinion because I ended up getting like a 90 something compared to the T's where I got like a 60 something. <laughs> so yeah, overall, um, <clears throat> I ended up passing the HESI A2 with a 91.3%, yes. Yay! So I passed the T's with a really high score. So I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting into that program. Like, come on, like, come on. <laughs> like, first of all, like, my application, juicy, okay? Like, <laughs> they asked for, like, oh, what's your background? Because if you guys don't recall, and I always repeat this, but the Accelerated BSN program, is for people who already have their bachelor's degrees that are non-nursing bachelor's degrees. So they're not nurses, no nursing experience, someone who has an art degree or a math degree who probably wants to be a nurse, takes one year and they're, they have their BSN. So that's basically an accelerated BSN program. So yeah, so I'm like, okay, in my application and like the experience section, I have nursing experience. I'm like, okay, for my recommendations, Asked to my um, professors from my LPN program, they had their masters. That's like a okay, you know, I'm getting recommendations from like MSNs, and then you know, now I have the high HESI score, and then my essay was really good, my resume was really good, so I'm really feeling confident about getting into the accelerated BSN program. But I am still applying to the LPN to RN bridge program um, just because um, 
One thing that I want to, that I'm really considering is tuition costs. I don't want to take out another huge student loan um, and be stuck with that. And I think I'm probably going to do a video for people who are like me, who are like, um, who have their bachelor's degrees and probably who are LPNs and they don't know whether to choose a bridge program or accelerated BSN program. I think I'm going to do um, a video on that just because a lot of times you guys hit me up on Instagram and usually I feel like my videos are geared more towards like just LPNs and like LPNs who want to bridge over to RN but I feel like I'm kind of like I don't do enough accelerated BSN programs for people who have the same situation as me so I think I'm gonna make a video on that but yeah I'm still applying to the LPN to RN bridge program um, as well as the accelerated BSN program so for the accelerated BSN program I already sent in my application and everything it's it was through nursing cast everything my application was completed now it's verified which means they sent it to the school so now I just wait. Um, the deadline was is February 1st, so I should be hearing back probably two weeks after that. So then I'll know, and of course I'll let you guys know. And for the LPN to RN Bridge program, uh, the application deadline is February 28th, but I wanted to get it out this week. Um, I'm just waiting on a couple more of my transcripts um, because we have to send them all into one packet. So the transcripts are being sent to me, so I'm waiting for them in the mail. But I just want to send it at around the same time as the Accelerated BSN program just so I'll know which ones I get into at the same time so I don't have a waiting game in between and like, you know, so I'll find out all at once. But um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking. Now here's the fun part. If you waited to the end of this video, then you're in for a special treat, okay? Because um, since I'm no longer studying for the HESI, I'm no longer studying for the ATI, I no longer need this book right here. I no longer need this, okay? Which means that I will be giving away my study book. <laughs> so yes, this is the Hezzy A2 secret. Um, like I said, you could, you could use it for the ATITs. It worked perfect for the ATITs. Like, I have no complaints. They also make an ATITs version, but like I said, just use this, like, it's basically the same so and this book I think it costs around 25 to 30 dollars so I'm giving this away to one of you for free so if you want to enter this giveaway um drop a comment a comment oh my goodness comment down below and let me know your nursing journey are you pre nursing are you LPN um are you um someone who already has a bachelor's degree and you want to get into a BSN program? Uh, do you want to go into a direct uh, MSN program? Because those exist too. Just let me know in the comments. And I think I'll give two weeks. Um, and I'll probably insert the date somewhere down there. That's the deadline. Um, and yeah. And I will let you know the winner. And probably either my next video or I'll just post it on um, my story or something like that. But yes. Um, just leave something down in the comments. Let me know your nursing journey. Let me know why you love nursing. Um, just anything you want to say. Um, I'm not really into the, oh, follow me on this, follow me on that. Da -da -da -da. Please don't start harassing me. <laughs> like, just leave some down in the comments. Like, it's really simple. So, yeah, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. And like I said, you have two weeks for the giveaway. Two weeks if you want this juicy bad boy. It has math, it has biology, chemistry, A and P, um, physics, it has reading comprehension, vocab, grammar, all that. Everything that you need for the ATITs, everything that you need for the HESI. So, yes, let me know down below. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.